Hello, how are you? So a friend requested me to make, well, she asked me how I make my candles and how I mold my Christmas projects that I've done. And I'm gonna show you what I have done. Um, I have been, it's no secret, it's been on Facebook, been making candle holders out of clay and candles to go with it, believe it or not. Let me get you there. There we go. Candles to go with it. So I've been a busy lady. So yeah. So she requested how do that can you teach me so I am going I am recording myself and showing my fans what I've done so I got all this candle wax given to me by my father which I won't get into okay here we go so all this candle wax and I was like, mm, I'm going to make candles. This is what I'm going to do. And then I went to the local dollar store and I got clay. And I was like, okay. So I am boiling down the wax. As you can see, it's boiling down. And I'll just wait until that all boils down. And then I got little clay molds or, or little molds from the dollar store, not clay molds. And then my son and I got together and we are doing these. You can see them, and we're going to put pour wax right in them, right in them. And then I've got this twine here for the wick, which is cool. So I dip the twine into the, the wax, and I'll show you when I'm doing it. Okay, so right now, while I am waiting for that wax, I'm going to prepare molds and the the twine. And I'm, I'm wanting to do something a little different. Um, so I'm going to be using parchment paper, tin foil, and um, clean food wrap. Um, I hope I didn't see, uh, use those brand names on there. Um, sorry about that. Anyway, I'm going to line them with this and it's going to make a cool effect on the candles when they dry. So yeah, let, let's, let's do this. So I'm going to be in the process of boiling those candles. And boiling the wax, and now I'm going to be um, doing some molds. So I'm going to figure out. Last time it got stuck. Like, yeah. 
broke it. I put it in a, a shot glass and, and then I broke the shot glass. I know some of my friends would be very disappointed. In me. me, I'm not that big of a drinker, but my family, my family is. I, I take after more of my mom. She's not that big of a drinker either. Love you, Mom. Proud of you. I'm glad I take after your side. You know what? That's not going to work. I think I'm going to need a bigger left like I did before. Why did I get it? My golly, I think that might work. If it's going to let me... Pour the wax in there and see what happens. Okay, <laughs> now I've got this wax candle holder and I'm going to put the saran wrap. So last but not least, I am going to do the spin pile. Let's see what this one does. I'm going to use a square one. And like I said, I got these from this dollar store. I got this one from um, Amazon, and uh, actually it was from Geek, the app Geek, which is off of Wish. Now that that is boiling down, how am I going to need more wax? Which is going to be okay. So this is the wax pouring station. My, my son, this is so beautiful. I love him. There'd be an issue if I didn't know. Okay. 
So I think I'm going to do a beautiful butterfly candle holder or plate or whatever. I'm going to make sure my surface is clean. And I should get some wax tape before this one. Put it away. I'll be right back. Enjoy this beautiful, messy view of my kitchen table. So they don't fall down. So uh, the butterfly. I think I want to do a butterfly. If it doesn't work out, it's clay. So I'm going to roll it. Now I'm going to design my beautiful butterfly. Just the outline of the butterfly. And if I need more clay, I can connect it and mold it in there. You know what? I am going to do the wings first and then I'll do the head later. it like a heart. Curve it a little. Checking on wax. Checking, checking, checking. 
Now roll this out to the bottom. Butterflies, they're so beautiful. body. Make the little bum on it. There's the little bum. Now I guess the mic's going to be way up there. Gotta look like a butterfly or a plate holder, a can holder. It's gotta look like a butterfly, but it's gotta hold the little body. The can it's just gotta be flat. Roll it around for the head, make it kind of alien shape. Makes me wonder sometimes, you know, are we all aliens? <laughs> I had that conversation with a friend once. I said that we can't. We're not aliens, but are we all aliens? It's getting a little crusty. I need some water. So if the clay does get crusty, just add water to it. It will uncrust. Going to add some wings to this. Or wings <laughs> tennis. Because you gotta have always have a tennis, right? It's a little bunny. Okay, 
So now we're going to fill the, the butterfly in. Make this flat too. Should I add a little bit of heat to it? I do have tools for this stuff, but find if I use my fingers get more control over it. Tools will come in later. So this is pretty much all filled in, and I think my wax is probably melted by now, and it's probably evaporating. So I'm going to put, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to put um, a wet towel over this so it doesn't dry up, and then we can fill the design. Here is the melted wax. So let's start with this one. Let's see what this happens. Oh, you know what? I didn't do the, the wax.
need a little bit for the pencil. It's not long enough. Baker, but I'm clumsy. Okay, let's do this. It's probably not going to come out because of the bottom. Oh, I really overfilled it. It's okay, it will just peel off. I'm not that concerned. So once this wax is dry, it will straighten. See how I dipped it in? Oh, that's how it works. It's like an oil in it. A special oil wax. You mix it with oil. Okay. So I'm going to take uh, this and wrap it around this. Enough. Make sure it's centered in the middle. It's not really working because the, the You know, this one is no good. I'm not going to even fuss with it. So don't use parchment paper for it unless you really know what you're doing. <sighs> We're going to go to the tin foil. I'm going to transfer this to the tin foil. This wax is really hot. I can use this cup later. Actually, we'll take this out and we'll just reuse it. comes right off. Let's put this in. I wonder how this one is going to turn. So I can straighten this up. out. Make sure it's centered. Let that dry. Do no, we're gonna do this one. That I'll save for later. I got a plan for that one. Okay, 
So that one's now centered in the middle of the cup. And I'm going to pour it in. That weird goopy thing in the bottom didn't actually mix. Alright, we're gonna stick these back in and stick some more candle wax ink so I can fill these candle holders. Alright, well, the parchment paper didn't work. It's okay. And this was leaking through too. Huh, interesting. Stick this back in. Don't worry, it will come off with like hot water. Going to use uh, this old candle. I'm going to pour that over it. Alright, so more wax is on the go. Curious of how they're gonna turn out. Oh, okay. I think we're in the middle of uh, designing it. Designing our creation, which means that we need the clay tools. Possibly my ex left them here in a big slice. I'm going to use them. He doesn't seem like he wants them back. So he's probably saying, go for it. All right. So I'm going to go buy my, my ring here. My butterfly ring. My beautiful children got me for Christmas last year. I'm going to curve these antennas. Curve them.
nice happy eye and nose, eyes and nose. Okay, so I'm probably going to have to recreate the body. Let's move this up. I am done the the candle clay holder using these tools and I filled the wax using all that you see here. This one has to be it has holes in it so it has to wait. So that is the end pieces of the clay. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day. Bye.